Yo, what's up mga chong? I heard the news. Ikakasal ka na daw. May pabango ka na ba? So congratulations, you're about to enter into a whole new chapter of your life. I feel at this stage, most of you are excited for the big day. I also know that there are some of you who are having cold feet, stressed out, and pressed down both by your fiancés and your own expectations on how things will turn out. From major decisions like choosing the venue, to the most minuscule details such as what fonts to use for your wedding invitation are meticulously picked because you want to make sure that everything will turn out perfectly, di ba? Sa dami ng pwede mong pagpilian na may presyong mas mataas pa sa pangarap mo, ano nga ba ang pinakamagandang gamitin para sa araw ng kasal mo? That is why I'm here! So titos, chill! I got you covered! Because in this video, I'll be giving you 5 fragrances that your bride will surely love. Everything is designer on this list, but if you prefer wearing a niche perfume because you have sky's the limit budget, then go for it. Please write down in the comment section if you'd like me to make a video of best niche fragrances for wedding. Kaso magastos yun eh. Sige na, bahala na. But before we formally start, I would like to thank you for tuning in to my channel. Mag-subscribe ka na para tuloy-tuloy lang ang ating mga kwentuhan at ligawan. Push that bell icon so you get videos straight into your feed. Now let's get into it! Before I present what's on our fifth spot, I would like to mention fragrances that could have made it into this list but didn't. Maybe they could be in my top 10. First is Geo Ohm Intense. If we talk about performance and something that will get compliment, there's no doubt that this is a head turner. This is a rich Irish fragrance that smells like lipstick and makeups. And that is the reason why I decided not to put this on the list because you will be surrounded for sure by people wearing cosmetics and wearing this will not create much impact. Another is Prada Loam. It has a soft, powdery, masculine scent. Another fragrance with iris but can easily be distinguished from Dior Homme Intense. This is a gorgeous fragrance that has a soapy vibe that will make you huggable but this lacks projection in my opinion. Now, I really wanted to include the next one in my top 5 but I didn't. Nevertheless, I will be spending more time on this because this is an awesome fragrance for men of exquisite taste. Mga Chong, Aqua di Gio Profumo by Giorgio Armani and Senor Alberto Morillas did an excellent job on this one. It's an aromatic aquatic fragrance for men that was launched in 2015. There's no need for a long introduction and I will not go through the details of it because it is so popular and no famous perfume reviewer has ever missed featuring this on their channel and neither will I, although I'm not famous. Mga Chong, this is a masculine fragrance that is extremely versatile. Something that you can wear all year round. You can use this anywhere, promise. Kahit bibili ka lang ng suka sa tindahan, ayos to. But to get the best out of it, use this if you're gonna be wearing tuxedo or a sharp suit on your wedding day. In my opinion, this is a jack of all trades that could easily be worn whether you are in your 20s or 80s. Although it was launched same year as Dolce & Gabbana The One, you might be wondering, bakit hindi ito ang ginamit ko sa kasal namin? Well, masyado na kasi siyang palasak. Everybody has this in their collection. Although it smells fantastic, you have to consult your wife to be because his brother might have worn this before or her friends or ng tatay niya. O kaya, worse, her ex-boyfriend. Please, no! 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 Now, let's go to our top 5 gentlemen Odi Farfa from the house of Givenchy. Quite frankly, this is one of the fragrances that I didn't like on the first try, especially the midwear. I was actually thinking about selling this and the reason being is it reminds me of cup syrup fused with lipstick.
But I started appreciating it after using it for a week because of how the notes play from the opening to the dry down. Napakahusay pala talaga ng areglo nito. Um, Gentlemen, Odi Parfa is a spicy, musky, sweet, and powdery scent. It was created by Olive Press in collaboration with Natalie Lorson and was launched in 2018. On the roof is a spiciness from Pepper while Arabic is undeniably present right off the bat along with other spices and bergamot. In the middle notes are orris, cinnamon, and clove while on the base are tolo balsam, tonka bean, benzoin, and patchouli. Clove and tolo balsam are ingredients used in certain cup syrup formula which is responsible for that sweet cup syrup vibe. <coughs> Excuse me po. It's a bit musky and green in the dry down which to my nose is the climactic part. It's got an incredible dry down, something that I did not expect because the midwear smells like expectorant. And a moment later, everybody's asking, what are you wearing? It's nice. Mga chong, this will make all the single ladies envy your bride. Tagamo sa bato. It's got a similar vibe with your own intense and Valentino Wamo, but it is more magnetic. Although I do not recommend your own intense, there's something unique in this that will make your first dance with your bride spectacular. It has a great projection and will last for easy 8 hours. Now for our top 4, hmm, brings back memories. Right. The one Odi Farpa from the house of Dolce and Gabbana. Released in 2015, the one EDP version is one of the best-selling perfume which is not surprising because this is a masterpiece by Olive Pouge. The news behind many successful perfumes in the designer world. It's a warm spicy tobacco with amber and a hint of sweetness from the opening lasting until the dry down. Top notes are grapefruit, coriander, basil, heart is a warm blend of ginger, orange blossom, and cardamom, and after 2-4 to four hours, it dries down beautifully leaving a woody cedar and a sexy tobacco with a sensual amber base note. It has the least projection and sillage among other fragrances on this list, and I think it was designed that way because like Casanova, this scent knows how to play mysterious, how to flirt, and tease by showing only about a little of something that would leave your bride asking for more. It's a highly recommended evening scent and will perform best on colder seasons. So kung matatapat ng summer ang kasal mo, you'll find it quite difficult to wear this and it will last for 6 hours on your skin but could extend up to 8. I was actually choosing between this and uh, Joe Ohm EDT and I remember I was in a rush when I bought this. It's more like a blind buy which by the way I wouldn't recommend you doing because you really have to take your time when you're trying out fragrances especially if you are going to use it in your wedding day. But thank god I wasn't disappointed on its performance. What great about it is it gets beautiful the more you expose your nose to it. Ang sarap niya amuyin palagi, amoy mature, sensible, and responsible guy na seryoso at mysterious, which is exactly my opposite. And also, there's a lot of newcomers in the market to choose from that deserve to be in number one spot. Like I said, not a beast mode, but the dry down is a very sexy and perfectly balanced tobacco that goes very well with other notes. It is perfect on a tuxedo, black suit, or even black baron. Again, that's Dolce & Gabbana, the one, Odi Farpa. Now, down to our top 3 is one of the most beautiful scent in Lom Ideal line. I've known the house of Golan for its Vetiver or Veriver EDT which has that feel of 80s fragrances. It's a big leap or jump from that genre to this, to this one and they did a terrific job in making something different. Low Ideal translates to the ideal man, which is exactly why you are getting married because she sees you as the ideal one. Hmm, that's sweet, right? It is a sweet and very woody scent introduced four years after the release of Lom Ideal EDT in 2012. Created by Garlan in-house perfumer Monsieur Terry Wisser along with his gorgeous colleague Delphine Jelf. 
Top notes are almond, rosemary, spice, thyme, lavender, and bergamot. While in the middle note has cherry, vanilla, incense, and Bulgarian rose. Base notes are leather notes, tonka bean, and sandalwood. There's a lot going on here, but you'll get a prominent fruity and woody accords because right off the bat are burnt wood and a sweet cherry bomb that kind of reminds me of cherry bubble gum. Nalala nyo ng araw yung ginagawang lip tint ng mga kaklasin ng babae. Yung almond parang pasundut sundut lang ng konte because it's like being enveloped by um, amber. Oh yeah, there's amber here. Yeah. Personally, I think that this is the best among the line and this is because of the smokiness that you'll get from sandalwood and incense. It's not a smoky church type of incense. Sakto lang. I pictured this on a man wearing a light gray suit or maybe a darker shade of gray. I know that most of you wouldn't set your big event on a rainy day. Pero marami pa rin nagpapakasal ng June, di ba? So for those of you who want it on June, this is a safe choice, not just on rainy days but also on warm afternoon events. And now in our top two is Pure Perfume or Parfum from the house of Thierre d'Hermes or as many people will say, Thierre d'Hermes. Some of you might get surprised. I imagine some of you are raising an eyebrow in this one. This is a woody citrus fragrance for men which also got an earthy vibe to it. it. Smells like a sap or hay with a light citrus zest, especially in the opening. It's not that hard to tell because there are only five notable fragrances in it. Top notes are grapefruit and orange. There's a flint in the middle note. In the base are benzoin, oak moss, and woody notes. Personally, I'm not a fan of citrus fragrances because I feel many of them can turn quite acidic, especially summer scents when applied to my skin. And when I say acidic, they can sometimes turn sour. It's not something that smells unpleasant though. I'm just not comfortable wearing strong citrus fragrances. But why would I want to wear this on my wedding day? <laughs> it's because Jean-Claude Elena is a genius. The citrus notes are tamed a bit as if it's just whispering to me in the opening, transitioning to a more pronounced benzoin and oak moss as it goes to the middle until the dry down. Plus, that hay smelling thing due to oak moss and benzoin reminds me of rice field. A picture of simple life, simple wedding with close friends and family members, but combined with whatever type of wood that's in it, it creates a feeling of elegance and opulence. I think this is the perfect scent if you are going to wear the traditional baron on your wedding day. Talaga namang pang Filipino ang dating nito. I would also add that this is a weatherproof scent, meaning you can still rock that baron on kahit umabag yung kasakasal mo. Stick, di ba? Even though it does not project heavily, it will stick like a kalamay. I wouldn't worry about the longevity because this will last even after the reception. Finally, on our number one spot is a woody aromatic fragrance for men, launched in 2018 and another magnum opus by Olive Polge. To me, wearing this fragrance is like walking through a maze or perhaps a mystical forest with a dark and cold entrance and from there you can pick through its beauty and draws you to have a closer look and as you get closer to the middle you'll feel warm and a sense of freshness and it gets warmer like a fire in the winter under a mesmerizing dark blue night sky with billions of stars as you walk deeper to that base i don't want you talking to that guy he is weird <laughs> that might sound a little bit exaggerated but it's just me saying ah, you really have to try this I'm talking about Blue de Chanel, not the Eau de Toilette, not the Eau de Farfa, but the Parfum. Top notes are Lemon Zest, Bergamot, Mint, and Artemisia. Middle notes are Lavender, Geranium, Pineapple, and Green Notes. The base has Sandalwood, Cedar, Amberwood, Icy Super, and Tonka Bean. Man, that's a handful! You'll get compliments not only from your bride but also from other guests in the room due to its outstanding performance with an easy 8 hours longevity. This is super easy to wear especially kapag malamig but 
it also has a tendency to turn sweet and lose a little bit of its uh, woodiness, if you will, if you are in warmer parts of the globe. It's an absolutely amazing fragrance with a sexy clean vibe. A highly recommended 10 out of 10 and this is the finest Blue de Chanel ever. Period. If you are dealing with a hectic schedule and finding it hard to choose, pick this one. You still have to try it though first. And honestly, I could have bought this instead of Dolce & Cabana EDP, but was sold out then. And because this is the king of blue fragrances, sorry Team Sauvage, a midnight blue suit and this is a solid airtight combination. So that's my top 5 recommended scents para sa mga groom to be. I would also like to know your pick. Just comment down below kung ano ang inyong mga recommendations. If you find value in this video, please show me some love. Not as much as what you give to your bride. I just need a little. I just need you to subscribe to my channel so I could produce more contents like this. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share this to someone you know who is going to be married soon. I hope this helps and will guide you in your purchase decision. Before I end this video, I would like to give a big shout out to all the members of Pabango PH and to Filipino YouTubers abroad, na sila Kuya Patrick of Pinoy Kiwi Scent. Sir, thank you for your tips, thank you for your help. And Sir Ernie of DJ Ernie Alonso Fragrance Channel. Idol! I will post the link of their channel in the description box. Let's support Filipino YouTubers kasi grabe, hindi pala biru to. I really admire their dedication to their craft. Just shooting, editing, and publishing contents like this takes ages. Especially sa mga baguhang kagaya ko. But there's a quote from Mark Anthony that says, If you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. There you have it. Congratulations and best wishes mga Chong and Chang. Once again, this is Albert, your Sintito. Wishing you all well, and I will say, after the wedding, humayo kayo at magpakarami. And I'll see you after your honeymoon. No, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers! are lavender, geranium, pineapple, <coughs> there's benzoin, oak moss, and wooden Plus, that hay smell. There's a police chase outside. Few moments later. Come on, people. <sighs> One eternity later. A while ago, there's a helicopter. Oh, man, it sounds like an ambulance. Uh, parang bagal ng ambulance.